Hello everyone, welcome to this beautiful Easter weekend. Mom and I come to you today. We are going to be making Easter waffles and that is the bunny shaped waffles and this is by the Dash um, Waffle Maker and this is the cute little bunny shape. I got this cute guy from um, Crate and Barrel. They do sell them at Target as well. I will put the link below, hopefully I can still find it. And everything that you see here, I'm gonna go through real quick. These flowers came from Hobby Lobby I got that ribbon that's back there that came from the 99 cent store. I got that beautiful old rustic um, um, holder, vase holder from Michaels and I got that on sale and I ended up paying I believe a dollar and fifty for it. He is risen. That right there came from Walmart and I believe that was for 99 cents. And we got this beautiful trio set you guys. Oh it's so gorgeous. I hope you can see that. It says, be still, believe, and blessed. Because ultimately, that's what we celebrate each Easter for. It is for the risen of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know for sure that that's why me and my family celebrate Easter. It's not about the bunny, but the bunny represents spring to me. Okay, and then we had this beautiful uh, table setting. Everything here came from the Pioneer Woman Collection, excluding the uh, so, um, the tableware. Now the tableware, these beautiful forks and spoons, this is the Easter collection, came from Walmart, okay? These both came from Walmart, as well as the pink. You can get the pink in the birthday um, section of Walmart, and then um, I'm not for sure if they still have the blue, but I got these from um, the Easter section of Walmart. They were leaving very, very fast. These are uh, Pioneer Woman's Easter. This is like her berry bowl. Look how beautiful that is. And it's not too thick, but it's very sturdy. This is her 11 inch beautiful um, bunny plate with the polka dots. So beautiful and festive. And then we have um, the teal, like I said, silverware as you saw. And it's the same thing over here for mommy as well. Mommy chose to do one fork pink, one blue knife, one blue fork and one pink knife. That was her creativity. <laughs> so the cups that we have here, 99 cents. They came from Walmart for 99 cents, that paper cup. And this paper cup came from the 99 cent store, their spring collection. And if you want to know about this beautiful tablecloth, look at the gorgeous flowers. This tablecloth came from Walmart and it was only $2.98. All of Pioneer Woman's um, stuff is all $2.98, all right? Those two back there, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, they came from the 99 cent store. This was a beautiful Easter card that my mom received from her sister-in-law. I thought it was really beautiful to put on the table because it kind of matched with the gingham. And then we have the beautiful box so that you can see what to look for. So that is everything, you all. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you want to know where I got everything from, there you go. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the mix ready, and that is for the pancake mix homemade, and I'm going to put the link below of where you can go to the website to get the recipe for the homemade um, cake mix that I'm going to use. Now I can link this, and hopefully I can link these if they're still available, okay? So let's get to it, you guys. Happy Easter! He is risen! All right, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you all, so before we even get started, I wanted to show you the napkins. Each napkin comes with a recipe that she gives you, which I think is so cute for your guest. They just can't use the napkin, but anyway. So this recipe here, it's the brie and broccoli quiche, and that is the ingredients that she has here, and it's so cute. She has the instructions and everything there. And then that is the guest napkin. And then for the large napkin here, right here, which is really pretty. She has the beautiful, uh, this one is a Easter crudites basket with spinach dip. Oh, doesn't that sound amazing? And she says it makes 12 and she shows you what to do and that is all of that there. So I thought that that was really cute that she includes recipes in her napkins. So if you get these napkins, don't use them without using them. You wanna give your guests at least a dry one and one they can use with their hands so that they can take these um, home and write down the recipe or copy paste it, whatever you wanna do, but take a picture of it. But yes, I thought that that was really cute, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna go over here and get the mix ready and you guys stay tuned. 
all right you all so we are back here to right now and we are getting started this is getting really hot and what I love about this is that it does give you the recipe so 1.5 tablespoons of batter for bunny waffle or three tablespoons for batter for round waffle so I'm gonna show you what both of those look like so we're gonna set that to a side so what we're gonna do first is do the three tablespoons so what I like to do is just spray this a little bit with Pam or you can use butter, just, just a little bit in here. Uh-oh, are we running low? There we go. Don't scare me, Pam. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get three tablespoons, like so. So that's one. Two. Three. And we're gonna spread that around, just like that. It might be a little messy, the first one, but that's okay. So we got a blueberry in there, and we're gonna let that sit there, and we're gonna cover that, okay? So the light is on. Mommy got some butter set aside here so that we can use that to go on top as we get ready to pull these little bunny waffles out. And as you can see, the steam, I don't know if you can see that, but it is steaming. So we're going to wait for that light to change to off, and then we'll take it out to see what we have here. So you guys stay tuned. I thought a really good idea for the kids, I'm going to show a few, with just um, these sprinkles. Maybe these two, but definitely this one. So we're going to see how that looks. Okay? It's so festive. So pretty, absolutely love the color, and that is steam coming up right there, if you guys can see that. Ooh, that one looks beautiful. All right, so we're gonna lift this ever so gently. And look at the bunny shape, I kinda messed it up a little bit, but you see the bunny. There we go. And that has blueberries, so we're gonna set that there. And you can see the bunny shape pretty good. Okay, so the next one we're gonna go for is just the middle part of the bunny. So we're just gonna do that. And that said, one and a half teaspoon, I mean tablespoon, one tablespoon, and then it said a half a tablespoon. So we're gonna do that one and a half tablespoon and make sure that that's spread it equally all the way around. That's why I have this little spatula. And I think what would look cute with this is the sprinkles. So we're gonna add a little bit of sprinkle, just a little bit for some color. See where we go in here, you guys, it's so cute. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, so that is the cute bunny, it's so adorable. And this is homemade um, pancake mix, pancake batter, and I'm going to give you guys the recipe down below um, if you're interested in this pancake batter. It seems to be very fluffy very nice it's very fluffy all right so excited to see how these are going to come out and this one is just the bunny shape okay and what we're going to have with this today is some kiwi we're going to have some uh, a bacon a sausage some eggs and of course the beautiful okay let's see what we have here you guys <gasps> how adorable so cute okay so we're going to try to take this out ever so slightly where I'm not bending it. Okay, so let's flip it the opposite. <laughs> it is the cutest little bunny, very hot but cute. Okay, so that is the plain bunny and then this is the regular bunny. So what I'm gonna do is just take these little sprinkles off. And I think it's so cute with the little sprinkles. This one didn't get the sprinkles in the front but look at the little bunny ear, the cutout the little bunny ear, and then those are the sprinkles on the back. And then this one is just your regular round one. And then we have some blueberries, as you can see in there. My hands are very clean. And it's just too adorable. And always put a paper towel so you can have an area you can put all your messes. This is still very hot, but I'm about to spray some more in here. This is a very clean dish towel. Here we go. This is the sugar I use today to swerve. All right, and it tastes pretty good, not too bad.
All right, you all, so those are the beautiful waffles. We have them all done, and it's going to be easy cleanup. So all you have to do, set this just go ahead on and fold this up. That's why I love putting paper towel under. Move this guy, and just like so, you have easy cleanup. Easy breezy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna set the table. We're gonna get the breakfast ready and you guys stay tuned. All right, you all, so I hope you enjoy this breakfast with mommy and me, this easy Easter breakfast. These are the Easter waffles, and these bunny shape, and then the entire shape, if that's what you want. These are just some cheese eggs, we got some sausage, bacon here, and then we have some um, fruit here. And you guys, it looks like a lot, but honestly, it is probably one o'clock in the afternoon. Mom and I have not even eaten yet, but we wanted to get this done for you all. So this is an easy, breezy, fun, festive Easter breakfast, and I hope you all enjoyed it. So thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Char. If this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you and you all can come and check me out. Thank you so much. I pray you all have a wonderful Easter. 
Easter is a time that we celebrate for my family for the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are so grateful for salvation and so thankful for what he did for us on the cross. So you all be blessed and you have a lovely, lovely weekend. Remember, always trust God, keep him first and he'll lead you in the right direction. God bless. Bye-bye. Yummy.